Diego Maradona is considered one of the best footballers of all time. Alongside the likes of Pele, Messi, Ronaldo and a few other names. But what if I told you there was someone better than Maradona? Better than one of the greatest players of all time? But never mentioned in the conversations of all-time greats? Today, I will be covering the story behind the man even Maradona said is better than himself and Pele. Nicknamed El Mágico, translated to the magic in English. Jorge Gonzalez is considered the best ever player from El Salvador. El Salvador is located in Central America and isn't known to produce world-class players that could rival the great talents produced further down south in South America. But Jorge Gonzalez was the exception. Starting his professional career in 1975, where he played for a local team, Gonzalez had immense talent which very few had seen in El Salvador. Superb ball control technical skills and dribbling ability. Gonzalez quickly became wanted by other clubs. He was then scouted and eventually transferred to Argentina, where he joined a single season before returning to El Salvador. He then joined another local club a couple seasons. In 1982, he finally made the move to Spain. Admired by both Atletico and Cadiz, Gonzalez eventually chose to play for Cadiz where he enjoyed two different spells playing for them. His first game was a friendly game, and he instantly became a fan favorite impressing the crowd with his dazzling skills and goals. The first season of the pitch was a memorable one for Gonzalez, as he netted 14 goals in 33 games. He was a great playmaker alongside his great finishing abilities, playing in the center forward position or out wide. Gonzalez was rather impressive wherever he played, there was however a point of criticism for Gonzalez, and it wasn't on the pitch. Gonzalez was notorious for his love for partying and nightlife. His indiscretions off the field was to be his one weak point. An infamous story is one involving Maradona and Gonzalez on a preseason tour in the United States. Gonzalez was invited to the preseason with Barcelona in 1984, as Barcelona were looking to possibly sign the playmaker. The prospect of Maradona and Gonzalez in the same team was just mouth-watering. But this wouldn't happen to an incident where Gonzalez refused to leave his hotel room to answer a fire alarm that was pulled as a prank by Maradona. What would the reason be? Gonzalez was entertaining a lady friend. Maradona and Gonzalez, with both of their phenomenal skills on the pitch, were rather similar when it comes off-field decisions. Despite the off-field decisions, the decisions made by Gonzalez on the pitch were always great. Maradona had even said El Mágico was one of the greatest players he had ever seen and even went as far to say that Gonzalez was indeed better than himself and even Pelé. Great praise coming from one of the greatest ever and despite all of this, it begs the question as to why Gonzalez is never mentioned as one of the greatest ever. Technically, he was considered better than Maradona by a number of people. But his discipline and work ethic is what ultimately let him down. His inability to sign for big clubs due to his off-field decisions is probably the reason as to why he isn't in the conversation of the greatest footballers ever. Spending a total of nine seasons in Spain, Gonzalez would eventually return to his home country and play football there until 1999. He then retired and began coaching in the United States. But that didn't go to plan, and eventually he would return to his homeland. El Mágico is loved in El Salvador, and this can be seen by the fact that a footballer stadium has been named after him. He is widely considered the greatest ever player for El Salvador and possibly Central America. Many journalists have said that if Gonzalez was Argentinian or Brazilian, he would have been ranked as one of, if not the best alongside the likes of Pele and Maradona. Gonzalez managed 62 international caps and scored 21 goals in international football matches. Gonzalez was a fantastic player who many field had unrealized potential. I mean, one of the greatest ever players in Maradona said that Gonzalez was even better than himself. Perhaps if Gonzalez had avoided the extensive nightlife and put all his energy into trainings and performing consistently, he could have been one of the greatest of all-time greats. 
surpassing even Maradona. This unfortunately never happened and we can only picture how good Gonzalez could have really been if he had the proper dedication and work ethic. He did however love the sport and love to entertain, saying in a statement that he doesn't enjoy treating football as a job. He wouldn't be himself and he just plays football to have fun. El Mágico had the potential to be greater than Maradona, but ultimately his poor decisions and lifestyle led to his downfall. Do you think Jorge Gonzalez was better than Diego Maradona? Let us know down below in the comments. And as always, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. See you all in the next video.